Hey, what's up guys? This is Roarskate again from Pixeltrip.com. So today we will be taking a look at Crisis 2. Off the bat, I want to apologize. This was meant to be a awesome live recording. We had a lot of great first impressions and, you know, a lot of things that I may forget through this process as compared to when we're actually playing it. However, the audio seems to went all haywire. I Luckily, I've got a new hard drive for just dedication to Fraps, so that should take care of all these problems so in future videos you can expect some live ones and uh, you know hopefully we can get a couple more of the pixel trip group in here uh, like we had here because it made it a lot better you know obviously two or three people's impressions are gonna be a lot better than one it's not so biased or unbiased you know depending if anybody's played the first couple crisis games right off the bat one thing you always look for I cranked my graphics jumped in game and I'm very impressed by the graphics. It looks beautiful. Uh, I mean, especially on this uh, map, I believe it's called Skyline. I mean, you can just look off into the distance and even the detail on the buildings off in the distance that aren't a part of the actual uh, playable map. It, you know, I mean, they're just in ruins. Some of them are burning and the, the texture is still really good on them distant objects. And obviously anything up close in the actual map is ridiculous. I mean, you can walk up to it, walk up to the wall, and you can still see the texture in it. So they went really far with that, and I'm really impressed by that. But I do have one huge issue with this. So I'm scanning through the menu options, and, you know, just make sure I have everything turned up, adjusting a few of my keybinds, figuring out what keys do what, because I just, you know, didn't, I just skipped the tutorial video. Um, so I'm going through anyways, and there's an option for aim assist. And at that point, I really lost all faith in the game as far as whether or not I was actually going to play it. Because, let's be honest, we're playing with a mouse and keyboard. Why do we need aim assist? And I wish they had ledge assist so I didn't jump off and kill myself. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, in this video, you're going to see me getting owned more than anything. But... I just, that pissed me off so bad. I am so mad about that because I love the gameplay. It feels really smoothed out. And I was still, even with uh, Fraps running, I was able to run this game at full. So it makes me feel as though, you know, the graphics are really smoothed out. And they didn't just go, oh, graphics, 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 and then it run like shit anyways. And not people not be able to run it. But, I mean, if you just watch some of these kill cams, I know it is sped up. I wanted to get you a full match just to see different things I encountered. But if you watch, you can see that a lot of these people, they probably don't even know that there's an aim assist option. And they pretty much just click and hold, and that thing's going to bounce it right onto you. And, you know, I mean, yes, technically I could probably still kill them. But, I mean, that gives such a huge advantage. I mean, that them are things, these kind of things are people that, or for usually for people that hack and they they want to feel like as though they own by using auto aim or aim assist or any of that bullshit you know so that's one thing that really set me off about the game and it kind of sucks because everything else I'm a huge fan of uh, those uh, little plastic flaps that you seen hanging down there when you run through them you can actually feel the there's a slight force that kind of pushes you back as you run through them and you can actually watch them from first person view kind of go up and over your head so it's not like you're just running through an invisible thing that where they're supposed to be uh, plastic flaps also they added in the feature of holding grenades and I didn't realize my crosshairs were blinking and yeah I blew myself up so you guys can call me noob for that. As you can see, I threw my clan tag on as noob. That way they're, you know, they knew. They knew. But, you know, overall, I love the gameplay. I love the way the maps are. I love the graphics. Also, water is ridiculous looking in this game. When you come, even swimming in it looks crazy. But when you come up and out, you can actually watch the water stream down your mask. I mean, that's just something that usually especially first person shooters they won't go that in depth to throw that kind of uh you know detail into the game however they really did i mean i feel as though they went balls to the wall but i just can't see myself playing a game with auto assist that feels as though it takes all of the uh challenge out of it you know and I, especially if there's other people playing with aim assist 
and they don't even know it's an option, which is what I feel. I don't feel a lot of these people are using it, you know, on purpose and saying, ha, ha, ha. But, I mean, they're probably shooting, and they're probably like, wow, this is really fucking easy to aim. What's going on here? And then, you know, hopefully they can see some of these videos and maybe turn it off or protest like a few of us PC gamers are and say, hey, we don't need aim assist in a PC title. We're not using it. We're not using a controller, you know. Also, another thing that's kind of off and kind of sketchy is the field of view is very low. You have to make a lot of turns just to make it in a full 360, which does give a lot of people, uh, like, kind of, like, motion sickness. Uh, you know, a lot of the newer titles, such as Battlefield, you know, they give you the option to set your own field of view. So that's another little thing, but these minor things wouldn't, you know, prevent me from buying the game. However, they need to remove auto aim or aim assist or whatever the hell you want to call it because I refuse to play a PC title with that because I feel as though it's not skill based whatsoever at that point. And, you know, if everybody else is using it, yes, I know, I'm a noob, blah, 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 I should be able to kill them anyways. But let's be honest here people are still going to be good. People have played first person shooters, let alone when they have aim assist on. That takes their skill level up a whole nother notch where normally you may have been even and that's why they're gonna get the kill on you but you know <laughs> I mean I just can't I can't help but rant about that because that's just something that is just severely pissed me off about this game and I would have, I would have already had this game pre-ordered now if it weren't for that but you know I mean I guess that comes down to everybody's own opinion whether or not it needs it anybody who thinks it needs it you're a fucking idiot I guess is what I'm trying to say, but, you know, I mean, overall, it's a great title, I think it's going to be huge success for them, and they've really stepped it up as far as gameplay goes, and, uh, you know, I was definitely st stoked to play it, I still had a great time playing it, uh, lost my throat a little bit there, <laughs> but I'm glad you guys uh, came to watch this, watch me get owned, in the future, you can expect some more live views uh we actually have like five hours of magicka i have to sift through and uh thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it